In this video, we challenged ourselves to build a mock of the Battle of Umbara, all within one day. And this is what happened. Everyone, stop firing! We started by watching the three Clone Wars episodes that take place on Umbara. There were a few different options for the build, such as the landing on Umbara, Anakin and the 501st in the trenches, the road where the 501st are with Ponkrell, the Umbaran base, the 501st battle versus Krell, or the battle of the 212th versus the 501st. After a few minutes of contemplating, we decided to build the scene with the 501st versus the 212th. This is because we have most of the figures for this scene, and we unfortunately don't have Ponkrell. This planning took us about two hours of our time, so we had to swiftly start building. We quickly grabbed all of the figures that were needed. Rex, Decal P2 Grunts, Jonak Decal Waxer, Jonak Decal Hardcase, and Jonak Decal Fives. We ended up with a total of 17 501st Troopers and 15 to 12th Troopers to use in the mock. Additionally, we acquired six Jonak Toys decals that we previously bought and had lying around for this perfect opportunity. Good, Anakin, good. Making these decals wasn't too difficult since we have some experience. First, we cut the decals out and used water to put them onto blank Lego figures. We then repeated this process a few more times for the rest of the figures. Decaling does take a decent amount of time, so unfortunately, we couldn't finish all of them. To complete the figures, we sprayed them with sealant and waited for them to dry. This took us about 45 minutes, adding to our total time. As the decals were drying, we started to plan out the mock. If you want to know more about the decaling process, check out this video in the description below. We set out two 48 by 48 stud base plates to be the foundation of this build and got all the parts we could possibly need from our collection. We then decided to build two medium sized hills on either side with a shallow valley in between where the main battle will take place. Additionally, we will build a large variety of the Umbaran plants and use lots of random black parts to create a textured floor. We will also include the monster that eats clones called a Vixus. We plan to include some iconic scenes from this battle, such as Waxer's tragic death, the 501st mortar troopers, and Rex running through the middle of the battle, risking his life to stop it. Now, after all that exhausting planning, let's start building. First, we outlined the general position of the hills with bricks. To build the hills, we are going to build the inside with three brick high filler brick and then cover these bricks with various black slopes, plates, and tiles. Using this simple technique, we can create some very cool landscapes. We started building a hill in one corner of the 501st side of the mock. This sloped down from its peak in the corner. On the other side of the mock, we made a bigger hill which sloped down with a little platform on one side. These hills took us about five hours to build, which is much longer than we expected. However, they made the mock more interesting by adding greater depth and texture. Now we really need to speed things up. Next, let's build some plants. The plants on Umbara have some unique and peculiar shapes that are difficult to replicate in Lego. Most of the plants we built used random big slopes and other large parts, such as this one, this one, this one, and this one. We used lots of snot techniques to create the interesting shapes that these plants have. We also built a few plants like this one, which have purple fins. Towards the end of the build, we decided that more plants were needed, so we added lots of these type of plants, built by stacking tires and putting a pipe or bricks inside of them to connect them to the base plant. As we were building these plants, we also built the previously mentioned Vixis to eat some clones. So uncivilized. This vicious creature was built with slopes and clips to hold both sides of the mouth in a circular shape. Inside the mouth, we added teeth connected by red clips to represent the interior of its mouth. After placing lots of tentacles around it, made with multiple different circular pieces, the Vixus was finished. Now that we have finished the plants, Vixus and Hills, let's fill in the rest of the base plates with several random black pieces to create realistic looking Umbaran terrain. 
Creating this terrain uses up lots of plates, tiles, and other Lego pieces. This is a similar technique to various of our other mocks we have built in the past. This just involves placing lots of random parts down to create an interesting texture and therefore an interesting landscape. After finishing this section of the mock, it looks a little dull and is missing the red neon lights that cover the terrain. Thankfully, this is an easy fix. By putting transparent red pieces in groups of three studs randomly all across the mock, we also added some dark blue parts all over the mock to make it even more varied and accurate. All these past few builds took us only two additional hours, so we should be able to meet the time limit. After completing the build, we need to add all the figures. The decaled minifigures have finished drying, so let's assemble them. We ended up decaling Kix, Dogma, Jesse, and Tup. However, Jesse is not in the scene, so we didn't have to decal him in the first place and we'll not be using him in the mock. We will put on the minifigs with lots of cool poses and actions to make the mock exciting and dynamic. We started by putting down Waxer in front of a tree with a medic helping him. Then we added all the two 12th clones, some shooting, some injured, and some running into battle. After that, we added the 501st clones. First, the grenadiers with their mortars, then a few clumps of 501st clones running in and shooting, one on his way to being devoured by the Vixis, and Rex preparing to run in and stop his brothers from viciously killing each other. This created an epic battle scene with a nice contrast between the clones' white armor and the black landscape of Umbara. Now we have completed the mock, and it only took us just 10 hours and 5 minutes to build. Much longer than we expected. Now we just need an epic montage to commiserate all the clones who lost their lives during the battle. Thanks for watching, check out our other videos where we build things for the 501st. We also happened to buy Poncarel right before the completion of this video and we thought we would see how he likes this mock. <laughs>